Like California, eastern Washington is no stranger to wildfire season. So what's the big deal? After all, students are still paying less, so who cares where the money is being waived? Well, you'd be surprised how one fee can cause all of these student organizations to lose out on over one million dollars. They have everything. They have dress pants, dresses, even ascots. With all the hills and stairs on campus, accessible transportation, much like this sign, is slowly fading. Let's be honest, people before coffee are not easy to work with. The Daggy Hall Theater has closed its curtains, so where will Cougs go to get their classic entertainment? It takes one cigarette bud, one faulty power line, one drought to start a wildfire. The droughts in general, you're very, very aware of that, even growing up. When you're heating up your shower, you're using like buckets to catch all the cold water, and then you would you use that to go in water. Harrison, like so many other students, is from California, a state that has been forever changed by flames. Right now, homes are burning, and thousands of people are evacuating in the Bay and L.A. area. You know, those handful of times I get to go home, it's just kind of sad seeing, you know, all the mountains and all, like, the beautiful greenery from when I was growing up and now seeing it all black and burned down. Like California, eastern Washington is no stranger to wildfire season. Back in 2017, Washington State University even issued a warning to students, recommending they stay indoors because of the low air quality. More recently, a wildfire in Grant County grew to more than 5,000 acres, forcing mass evacuations. According to the spokesman, at the time of the fire, Spokane had the worst air quality in the country. Professor Carroll teaches environmental science at Washington State University. His specialty? Wildfires. One thing that's in common across all these places is there is a need for communities to um, take sort of control of their own destinies and figure out how to organize themselves um, at the community level to deal with fire risk. Even if you are not a native to a wildfire zone, be safe, be smart, and be aware. Jane McDonald, Murrow News 8. One, two, one, two, ready? Uh, no, I really don't know how I would be in college right now if it weren't for the band. All Cassie Marshall wants to do is play, not for herself, but for her team. Over the past two years, the marching band has seen cut after cut on its budget. Troy Benefield is the director of athletic bands for WSU and knows all too well how important funding can be to the growing program. Before I got here, we had 125 members, and this year we're at 240. And so being able to grow has 100% been from SNA fees. Uh, so now our SNA fees are about 70% of our budget. SNA fees, or service and activity fees, fund more than just the marching band. To put it simply, wherever a student may be, it's likely because of a fee. To keep up day-to-day -day operations, there's no way around it. This fee is mandatory. Or is it? Last semester, the SNA committee, including ASWSC President Quentin Percumbus, noticed an odd trend. Looking at enrollment numbers, which last year we had the largest class ever in Pullman, and looking at kind of the revenue that was coming in, um, it was kind of odd because we had the highest fee ever, the most students ever, yet we weren't bringing in the same amount of revenue as the year before. Um, and the answer that we had always been just given was fee waivers. So what's the big deal? After all, students are still paying less, so who cares where the money is being waived? Well, you'd be surprised how one fee can cause all of these student organizations to lose out on over $1 million. Resources that serve students are now facing drawbacks. One of the things that we asked for was $18,000 to purchase wheelchairs to introduce wheelchair sports programming. Students are left in the dark. I mean, it's a shame to hear that like money is not going to where you know students are hoping to see it. Marshall is performing with less and less. I don't know. I don't want to know what, what it would be like to not be in band, even though it does. Sorry, I actually get emotional when I think about it sometimes. Um, but yeah. Phil Weiler is the Vice President for Marketing and Communications at WSU and discusses how his solution is not so black and white. And again, the alternative really would be to say to the student who receives financial aid, We'll reduce your tuition, but you have to pay your full freight for SNA fees. I don't think that's fair. When one student is paying uh, or is getting their SNA fees waived, um, that means all other students are paying more and their services are being cut. 
Burkumpis says that the university administration is aware of the concern and pledges to stop waiving fees by 2021. And when administrators are the ones stepping in waiving fees and circumventing that process, I think it's really undermining that authority of students to make those decisions of what our student experience here at WSU should be and what that really consists of. Maybe then Benefield can purchase new uniforms and the marching band can continue what they do best, spread the Cougar spirit. Jane McDonald, Murrow News 8.